If you're having problems running FIFA 23 on your PC, these steps might help you resolve your problems. But to begin with, you need to have three things sorted out. First of all, you need to make sure that your PC meets the minimum requirements. That's what you have here at the bottom. And then the second thing to also notice is that you need to have the latest drivers for your graphics card installed. So in my case, I'm using NVIDIA GeForce. So when you click on the NVIDIA settings here, or you could even open the software for your graphics card and then check if you have the latest version installed uh, if you don't you could always check um, you could always check and then do that really fast so when I open the GeForce uh, experience here it's going to open up my um, software for my graphics card and then it's going to check and then tell me if I have the latest updates or not if not uh, I'd recommend you get that sorted out so uh, those are two and then the third thing is to also have the EA app installed so as you might know from now uh, EA is no longer using Origin uh, and I think maybe still not going to use uh, Steam if you are still on Steam you might have problems launching FIFA 23 from there so what I recommend is that you get the EA app installed that's the new platform that EA is using get the EA app installed and then you can play FIFA 23 from there if you're having problems installing the EA app or you do not have the EA app at all I have a video which I'm going to keep uh, on the top of this video I'm going to link on the top of this video that you could click and then it would guide you through the stops as quick and then yeah easy to do so yeah let's jump straight into the main steps uh, the first thing is to log out of the app the EA app so right now I'm logged in so you want to log out you click on the left button you log out and then after logging out you need to make sure that this app is not running sometimes you might have it here and then you have it running but it's not showing us running or check your tax manager by right clicking uh, right clicking here tax manager uh, tax manager yeah and then check it's not running in the background okay so you have EA background services and okay so type E to check if EA app is running in the background is not what you want to do next is to uh, hit the Windows button with R so Windows plus R button and then you type in percentage app data percentage I'm gonna make it easy for you and then have this in the description so you just copy and paste when you click on OK it opens up a window that shows you all like the data that you have regarding some application so with the EA app we need to um, look at the EA folder initially if it would be origin it would have gone straight and then look for the origin folder that's O after N origin then we delete everything over there but in this case we are dealing with the EA app so let me just show you what's in mine here in mine you have the EA anti-cheat installer so if you're having issues with the you delete if you're having issues with um, your EA anti-cheat program then maybe this should fix your problem so after deleting that what we want to do is to go back to the application and then try to log in so as it's running in the background let me try and then locate my FIFA 23 game that's where I installed it okay I think I just click on the Google symbol and then it should automatically help log me in okay so as this is running okay it's here already I want to locate the directory in which I have this game installed so I click on view properties and I want to browse so that it shows me where the game is installed what you want to do right here is to delete all these files aside the FIFA 23 app and then the folders so I hit delete and they are gone and yeah after that you come and then you click on manage and then you click on repair and then it's going to try and then uh, go over all the files you have in the FIFA 23 folder and then make sure you have all everything intact and you have the latest versions of everything so as soon as it recognizes that some of the files are deleted it's going to install them or it's going to download them and give you like a fresh copy so what we are doing right now by deleting is to force the EA app to download latest copies of all those files that might be having issues alright 
so in this case i'm not going to repair because i already like have the fast and i have no issues with fifa 23 so i'm just going to cancel and then i'm going to go back to my installation directory and then undo so i can recover my files because i don't have a problem with fifa okay all right so uh the next step to uh, do is to also make sure that you have no applications running in the background that might be conflicting your FIFA 23 and then most issues uh, mostly happens that you have uh, recording software such as Camtasia Studio, such as Bandicam and then other recorders which uh, often conflict with FIFA 23 or any version of FIFA so just trying and get something that is compatible that you are able to run both at the same time or you can turn off all the applications in the background and open just fifa and then see if it works for you so yeah let's try this and see how it goes yeah right so definitely it's going mine is going to open because i have no problems with fifa and yeah if you watched this far thank you so much and then i would like you to like the video subscribe and then share so i can continue helping the community with more fixes and guides if you have any problems just let me know in the comment section and then i'll do my best to help you we are still waiting fifa 23 yeah there you go so it's working i'm going to leave it to run so that you you see that it's actually working Since it's taking time to load because we deleted most of the files and I'm sure they are trying to reinstall but then on the regular when you like uh, play after this first instance you wouldn't have to wait that long.